As the American and British troops prepare to take on the Taliban in their southern heartlands in Afghanistan, here in the north of the country, the villages around Kunduz have been forced to take the fight into their own hands. The Arbakai local militias have been formed to try and keep the Taliban at bay, filling the security vacuum left by German troops and Afghan forces who are supposed to be protecting them and failing. The people were sick of the Taliban. Nobody was safe. They were too scared to go out. Everyone was being looted. But the Taliban are still very active in the area and succeed in making their presence felt. Their fighters have formed a shadow government in the area, raising their own taxes and ordering the closure of schools. President Obama said in his State of the Union address he stood by the Afghan girl who wanted to go to school. He'd be pleased to see this one has reopened thanks to the presence of the Abakai. But the First Lady will be appalled at the price some women here are now paying for their so-called security. These two women were gang raped by rogue members of the militia and have little hope of bringing them to justice. How can I tell you what they actually did to me? I don't want this life. I wish they had put ten bullets in me rather than do such a horrible thing. I'd have preferred to have been shot or have had my head cut off. The attackers had cameras on their mobile phones. They filmed everything they did to us and our women. Their commander came back to our house and forced us to sign a letter of forgiveness at gunpoint. Under the Taliban, such acts would have brought a swift retribution. But the men, now keeping them at bay around Kunduz, have taken the law into their own hands. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Kabul.